This is a lap back pull. It's going to work your latissimus dorsi. It's also going to work your biceps. That's the secondary muscle that's going to work. You want to ideally get in. Fingertips should barely be able to touch these handles in order to get that full range of motion. So my hands can grab that. So I'm going to lower this just a little bit so my fingertips are just barely able to touch. I'm going to pull this pad down to lock myself in. Then I'm going to stand up and grab these handles. Handles ideally, if you're just starting to do this type of workout, you want the handles to face backwards. I know on here they have the handles facing forwards. Um, that's going to work a little bit more of the bicep versus the back muscle versus those lats. To get more of the latissimus dorsi, have these handles face backwards, get back in. We're going to pull down for three seconds, getting those elbows to the back, making like a W, squeezing those lats, keeping your head in a neutral position, looking straight ahead, pulling right back down. Good solid squeeze right there, slow and easy coming up, keeping our shoulders nice and relaxed. A lot of times now, people will do this machine, they'll go down, they'll come up, keeping our shoulders up like that. You want to keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Now, this happens with women, not necessarily with men. There's a bigger gap in your elbow and women there than there is the men. So if you're coming up and it feels like you're getting stuck about right there and you feel like you glitch, Pull back down, throw those handles inward, go back up. What that does, it helps release a tendon that's getting trapped in your elbow to help release that so you're not getting that tub feeling. Just like that, pull right back down, keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed, going back up. And four, three, two, and one.